So I had plans of making a video on an email client. Now I've made many videos since 2020 on email clients. I like email clients probably more than a lot of people. I mean, I know a lot of people have just transitioned to using webmail, but I still prefer a native client. And usually I end up using Thunderbird simply because it does seem to be the best email client out there. Now, I got really excited last year about Thunderbird because they made this announcement they were going to completely revamp the UI. They made a huge deal about it. They talked to all the press, you know, it was on Ars Technica, it was on the Register, it was on ZDNet, all the Linux blogs covered it. You know, you name it, you couldn't move across the Linux news space without hearing about the redesigned Thunderbird. We heard about it for months. They, they actually kept drip feeding news about the new redesign over the course of the last year. They've talked about, you know, all the, the, the new user account creation and the new UI and how awesome it was going to be. And finally, they decided it was going to be released in July of 2023. And it has been released. So I got on the internet and like, I'm going to make a video about this thing because it sounds so cool. The design of Thunderbird was really getting stale. I really want to see what this thing looks like. Let's go ahead and download it, make a video on it, and it's going to be awesome. So I traditionally use the package that is in my distribution for Thunderbird. I don't need to use the flat pack. I have no reason to do so usually. And especially when I'm on a, on a, I'm on a rolling release distribution like OpenSUSE, which I'm on now, I'm on Tumbleweed. I should be able to go there, download it and get the most recent version or so you'd think. Now, the most recent version not being in my distro's repository is not that big of a deal because it's not there. I'm still on version 102, version 1 115 or whatever it is, is not there. But that's not that big of a deal. It happens, you know, it just really because I'm I doubt very much that the guys at Thunderbird are actually the ones maintaining the package for OpenSUSE. So it's probably just some guy who's actually doing it and you know, whatever. It's not there. You know, I was like, fine, not that big a deal. I will go grab the flat pack because I know the flat pack is going to be updated. It was not. Now you gotta remember, Thunderbird was officially released. This brand new version of Thunderbird was released a week ago or at least as of the recording this, it was released a week ago. Now, if I go to Flathub right now and show you guys this, the version that is available is still 102.13.0, which is the old version. So the, the Thunderbird on Flathub is still not the new version. Now, you're probably going to be thinking, well, it's possible that the maintainer of the Flatpak is not actually the guys from Thunderbird. And that was the case for a long time. I know that was true, but I've been told that they do now control the flat pack on Flathub. So where's the new version? It's not there. Okay. Well, you know, I was like, fine. I will swallow my pride and I will install the snap version. Well, here's the snap version. The latest stable snap is still 103.13.0-1. Now you can, if you want it, if I wanted to, I could go download the candidate, which is the brand new version, but I don't want to download that one. I want to download the one that was actually released. It's not there. Now I didn't obviously do this because I don't want snap on my machine. If I'm not going to get what I want anyways. Now, why am I complaining about this? Now, <laughs> normally it's, it's an email client, Matt. It's not that big a deal. First of all, it really, really isn't. My biggest problem with this isn't that there's a delay in the release for, for, the vast majority of distributions or packages out there. That's not my complaint. My complaint is that they hyped it up so much, right? We heard about it for a year. We heard about it since early last year. They kept drip feeding news articles to all the major publications about how awesome Thunderbird was going to be with this brand new redesign. And then nobody but people who are on Arch can get it. Okay, now I know, yes, you can go to the website, download the tarball, create your sim links to where it needs to go, create your .desktop file in order to actually get it to show up in your, your menu system. You can do that if you want, if you're that wanting of the brand new redesign, which I kind of did want to do it, but I just want, my question for Thunderbird and the guys who develop it is this, why did you bother hyping up something so much and then not have the ability to release it to as many people as possible. You're floundering the release, right? Now, it's an email client, so it's not as if it's the next version of the greatest AAA game or even Firefox, right? 
Most people don't care, just nerds like me. <laughs> and I'm probably the only one that actually noticed this, or just a very few people that actually noticed, but it feels like such a missed opportunity. Thunderbird is a project that is owned by Mozilla. Okay, it's very heavily collaborated with Mozilla. Now, I know there is confusion of whether or not it actually is a Mozilla project because it wasn't, and then it was, and then it wasn't, and then it was. As of right now, according to everything that I can find, it is a Mozilla project. I give a lot of crap to Mozilla all the time. They have so many problems when it comes to the image of their company, and they had an opportunity here even if it was a small one, to have a grand release of a product and nobody can use it. <laughs> now, I know, like I said, there's probably some people who have downloaded it manually. There's probably people who are on Arch who are using it happily. But the rest of us, now, I mean, like, if I, if I was on, like, Debian, maybe I wouldn't expect the brand new version, right? But I'm on a rolling release, I exp and I'm happily interested in using flat packs. Now, I, I, maybe I could go and use Nix or something like that. Maybe Nix has the brand new version. I don't know. But the, the idea here is just that it feels like such a missed opportunity because because they hyped it up so much. If, if it was just a surprise release or, you know, just it was, if the only coverage of it was only on OMG Ubuntu over the course of the last year, it would have been fine, right? Like, then who cares? Like, no, nobody would know it was, basically nobody would know it was coming and it would be a happy surprise when it eventually did release. But they went through the process of, you know, hiring a Linux YouTuber to become their spokesperson and have that person go out and, you know, hype up this thing over and over again on Mastodon and Twitter and all the major news outlets. And then to release it and have it not available for a lot of people to download, it feels really not good, <laughs> right? Now, like I said, it's an email client. I'm aware that I've just made a 10-minute video on an email client that I can't use. It's the height of elitism, the height of whatever-ism that you want to talk about. Entitlement, maybe, is the word that I was looking for. I understand that. And at the end of the day... I don't even care anymore. I was I more cared a week ago when I wanted to try it and had a video planned around it. Maybe that's maybe that's the reason why I care so much is because I had plans for doing that and then I ended up not being able to do it even a week later. It still is not here. So maybe that's the reason why I'm so salty. I don't know. Anyways, Thunderbird uh, and in correlation Mozilla, you need to get your shit together. <laughs> that's it for me. <laughs> I'm not going to be making a video on the brand new version of Fire or of Thunderbird, even if it does eventually arrive on my computer. I no longer care that much, although I guess I did care enough to make this video. But I needed to rant about something, you know, just every once in a while you need to have a good rant to get the blood flowing, and I did that. So, I did it. If you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, leave a thumbs up on this video. It really does help the channel. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. I release a weekly Patreon-exclusive podcast on Patreon and YouTube for my members. If you want to head on over there and get that, you can support me there. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Seriously, thank you so very much for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.